hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having an amazing day today it is tuesday today and it's about i think about 3 30 p.m so i'm waiting for my son to get out of practice he plays um he's doing cross country and basketball well they have to kind of practice for both until the season starts so um yeah, I'm waiting to pick him up and I have a ton of empties and a few candles. So I felt like it's a good time to go through what I finished. Plus, I don't have any more room in this tote bag. Hopefully, you guys, for my next um, empties, I have a different one of these. This is like, mm, I'm, I'm tired of it. I want something colorful or something that goes with the theme the season so i'm gonna start with the candles i finished four candles and finishing these candles was a struggle i wanted to kind of use up at least a couple of my spring and summer candles but i just haven't been in a mood to really uh, burn any candles but i did get through hello beautiful and black cherry merlot this is from bath and body words white gardenia magnolia blossom wild cherries wild black cherries and velvety red wine so i didn't have any issues with the burn of this one but the scent itself was just light it's a beautiful beautiful scent i do enjoy hello beautiful and black cherry merlot that candle is normally like a powerhouse but um i don't know this this little duo just was just decent. It wasn't a favorite. I did it in my bedroom. It's like a light, a light medium throw. The next one from Bath and Body Works, this one was a very strong candle. And this is coconut pina colada, coconut milk, blended pineapple, and splash of rum. This candle was beautiful. Now, I do not wipe out my candles because I want to show you exactly how they burn. Now, I did overburn this one. I think I burned it for like four and a half hours. And it did this. The other candle I burned for even longer and it didn't suit. So, this one was just um, hot and fast. A hot and fast burner. And I think it because of those like flat wicks. But anyways, this was a great candle. Loved it. Beautiful pineapple, pina colada scent. And a strong performer. The last one from Bath and Body Works is a single wick, and this is Fresh Amalfi Lemon. I just finished this one yesterday in my bathroom, and it's lemon leaves, chilled spearmint, cedarwood, citrus. So I don't get any um, spearmint. I don't get any sandalwood. I get lemon and like a really like a really tart fresh lemon. This was great for the bathroom. I did enjoy it. It performed like a medium. I think I got this with like a free reward or whatever. I would grab this again and use it in my bathroom. The last candle that I finished and this one was also a great performer. This is Blueberry Limeade from Goose Creek. Scent notes are juicy blueberries, wild raspberries, lime, lemon, orange, and sugar. Y'all, this candle was so good. To me, this was like a blueberry limeade. <laughs> the name itself speaks um, volumes because I really didn't pick up any raspberry or orange. I got blueberry, lemon, and lime. Yeah, and it was a great performer. I did this in my kitchen, in my living room, and it actually threw. So my candles this past couple of weeks performed pretty well for me. So that's it with the candles. Um, before I forget, we're just going to do the body care that I finished. This is Freesia, which is a body wash from Bath and Body Works. Um, Freesia, Creamy, Hyacinth, and White Musk. This was beautiful. I enjoyed it as a bubble bath and with repurchase. The next shower gel that I finished is from Lush, and this is in Passion. I think I got this one last year. Yeah, I think I got it or at the beginning of this year. Could have came out in around Valentine's Day. So this says lather in a fresh red rose infusion. 
mixed with the mesmerizing luster and sweet passion fruit juice. This is so good, you guys. It smells like fruit punch. It smells like you're bathing in fruit punch. I did enjoy it. It takes me a good little while to get through one of these small ones. Um, you may think they go pretty fast, but the consistency is very thick. Little goes a long way. I would repurchase. Okay, now on to the wax. I finished four, oh sorry, four tubs. And all four, I think, are no, three are from Teddy Bees and one is from Second and Spruce. So I've been trying to make room for you know the pre-order and the ready to ship that I just got from Teddy Bees. Um, I keep most of my tubs in like a dresser drawer at the bottom, and they're three each. I can put three, you know, for the height and maybe six across, and they are completely full. So I gotta find out how to maximize my space or make more room for my tubs because that is what I purchased the most of. But I did finish Emma of Normandy. I didn't want to finish this one, but I wanted to make room. I only had a little left. This is a beautiful scent. It's dark berries, sensual orchid blooms, and warm vanilla. This is definitely a very sensual berry perfume type of scent. You would have to like those type of, you know, like sweet floral berries. I enjoyed it. I would definitely pick up more. I think I've seen it a couple of pre-orders ago, but I just didn't grab more. That was my mistake, but if it comes back, I would definitely grab it. Laid in Lace. I did this one, and this one is from 2023, too. This one is Beach Streets Marshmallow Clouds which is laid on the beach, blended with sweet and sensual vanilla. So this scent was very pretty. This is for me like a bedroom scent only. I didn't even try to melt this in my open concept because um, Teddy Bee's vanilla scents, if it's like boardwalk, marshmallow and vanilla, typically I only get like a light moderate performance it's like a background bedroom scent and that's what this was it was very pretty i got mostly the marshmallow clouds the vanilla and then i did get like a, a beach vibe from it so i'm guessing that was from the beach nights beautiful scent i don't know if i would pick that one up again though surfside sweet shop love this one love it love it birthday cake marshmallow cream butter cookies Cake batter and B Streets. It's one of Teddy B's most popular blends. And I did finish it because I had a crack in it. And I did have it um, bad, but only, I think I had like a little bit under than half. And this I've been working on since last month. So I wanted to finish it off. I love Surfside. Sweet Shop would always repurchase. Second is Spruce. I finished I'm Going to Paris. If you watch my August uh, melted basket, this was one that I um, wanted to warm. Sweet on pears, strawberry pound cake, hint of pistachio, and almond macarons. This was mostly, um, I got the strawberry pound cake, the sweet on pears, and that almond note. The almond was more like a cherry pistachio leaning almond type of scent. The almond and the pistachio basically but it was more cherry leaning but it was really really good this was a great performer and i enjoyed it and i would definitely pick it up again okay while we're on second is spruce i did i love margaritas let me see so y'all i've been working on this one for probably two months this is probably one of the strongest margarita scents i've tried um, sit notes, lime, Rita, pineapple, coconut milk, toasted coconut sugar, and salt water taffy. Extremely strong. I can, I got away with using like half of this, half a cube. And yes, I have a lot of warmers in my home. Well, for me, I do. And I could not tolerate it in more than four warmers. It was overly strong. Not in a bad way. It was it was a good strong, but it was so strong to the point I had to like turn a warmer off strong. I definitely got the Lime Rita. 
and you got like a creamy coconut vibe from it. This was really, really good. A great performer. I possibly would pick it back up, but I don't know. I like some of her other lime margarita scents a little bit better. So I'm going to jump into the clowns before I do scent shots and my bags. I did Sunday Drive from Goose Creek. I enjoyed this one, actually. I don't know the scent notes for this one, but it was a very pretty floral scent. Um, I got this from Walmart, if I'm not mistaken. It was nice, and it performed like a medium. From Everything Vice, I wanted to pull out some to melt. Um, Lulu just closed the pre-order um, probably not even a week ago, and I did go in and i made a small order i have so much of her wax right now from the last pre-order so i had to kind of rein it in i'm most excited for her christmas release because that's like one of my favorite holidays and her wax is so unique and so fun so this is pink chiffon teddy raspberry blossoms pink chiffon cotton candy i did this in my bedroom i could smell it it was like a light medium I definitely got the pink chiffon and a little sweet cotton candy in the background. This was for 5 2024. So it's about three months cured. But this one was, um, to be honest, on the lighter side for me. I have Blackberry Jam Sugar Cookies from Ebony and Ivory Wax Co. This was beautiful. This was so good. It's a blackberry, raspberry, and sugar cookie. I enjoyed this one. Yes, it's to me, it's not like a floral raspberry at all. I mean, it's beautiful. If you like blackberry and you like bakery, you will like this one. It's more of a fruity, a fruity bakery type of scent, but I really enjoyed this one. Next, we have Candles by Creasy Birthday Cake. I did melt this one, I think, a couple of days before my birthday. Um, this was nice. The, the glitter in here, though, you guys, her wax is so pretty. It's very glitter heavy, but it's it's kind of a pain to get out of the warmers. So I do enjoy Chrissy's wax from Candles by Chrissy. I just have to be mindful and know that I have to um, do the freeze freezer method to get her wax out. Um, cotton ball is just going to be glitter everywhere. But that was actually really good. One from Scentsy. I finished Vanilla Waves. Um, this is super old. This is sea salt. Let me see. Whipped cream sticky caramel. This is not... I mean, it was, it was okay. It was okay to me. I got a caramel, like, sea salt type of vibe from this. Um... I, it was very strong. I will say that this scent, I put it in here. I think I had four cubes left and I was just trying to um, use it up because I didn't want it to go bad. It's a beautiful, if you if you like salty caramel types of scents or um, it almost smelled like a pulled caramel with sea salt on top, then you would like this. To me, it was nice though. I don't know if I would um, pick up Vanilla Waves again if I saw it. Now we're gonna talk about scent shots. Sweet Two Scents birthday cake. I did enjoy this one. Her birthday cake smells like authentic birthday cake. Like the yellow cake with the buttercream icing. This was really, really good. Yeah, that's what it says. Sweet frosting, buttery cake, and vanilla. That was great. From L3 is Boardwalk Mellow Clouds, Peach Fun, Seaside Serenity. I enjoyed this one. It was um like a, like a very pretty um, beachy perfume type of scent. It performed like a medium. And if I saw this again um, in one of her new releases, I would definitely pick it up. So, Ebony and Ivory Wax Co. Slumber Party. I did this one. It's Marshmallow Fire Side Pink Sugar. This was great. This was a pretty, like a... a a girly marshmallow fireside basically it was really nice like i said we're we're not in any order i'm just picking up and going keegan candle passion fruit pina colada this was very very light very light i could hardly smell it cake batter ebony and ivory i love this one this was so good 
this was even better than like birthday cake this is vanilla cake cream cheese and vanilla bean it, it smelled more decadent than a birthday cake scent it was great i loved it i think i used i think i cut it into thirds <laughs> but it was a great one all right keegan counter strawberry cherry cheesecake this one actually performed really well and i love the red color um oh so good this was really good if you like cherry berry types of scent that was a good one she's my cherry cola yummers delight i did enjoy this one i'm not the biggest um cherry cola or cola person in wax but this was nice and i could tolerate it it was actually pretty good pink punch ebony and ivory guava orange peach violet and musk this was another beautiful one i enjoyed this it was um, very fruity a great performer this was a great performer so i enjoyed it and would pick it up again i began through a lot of scent shots i swear okay Island cake. This was a sample from Everything Vice, and it was shaped in like um like a, a scoop of ice cream. This was so dang good. I did it in my um bathroom, and it went all day. Keegan Candle watermelon lemonade. This was like a medium performer. I did this twice, I think, in my bathroom, and that's what it smells like. Um, Bath and Body Works watermelon lemonade. It was really nice, refreshing for like the hot days that we've been having all right got some more samples i did god's wood from teddy bees this was so so pretty you guys um i did this whole scent shot in my bathroom it smelled like the most beautiful tree scent <laughs> it was so pretty and i do think i have it in a souffle i probably should have got it in a tub that's how beautiful that scent is and it performed so I know this is not a, a year's cured or anything. I got this in the, was it the ready to ship? I think the ready to ship. And I went ahead and melted it and it performed less all day, all night in my bathroom. Um, French lavender and honey. I think this is from Ebony and Ivory, if I'm not mistaken. This was beautiful. I love French lavender and honey. I love this scent. Ice lemon cookies, another one. This was a strong one. I did this one scent shot in here in this warmer I have right here. Y'all, this this scent, <laughs> it was so good. It was so good. If you like lemon bakery, that is a great one. I've really been having great performance with Ebony and Ivory. Okay, um, another one. Wait, yeah. Okay, so Superman ice cream from Everything Vice is the one that was shaped like an ice cream. Um, Island Cake. Island Cake was just like a regular scent shot. Superman ice cream was the one that I put in my bathroom that went all day long. Island Cake was just okay, but okay. I got that mixed up. Um, we got some samples. Rainbow Melts, Lollipop, and Bubblegum. This was really good. I would purchase that. Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow BBW Type Candy Corn and Cola. This is from Rose Girls. I really just went through my samples and was trying to pull some stuff to melt. I think I melted this in the other room when I did that Cherry Cola scent. This was okay. It, it's pretty old though. It may even be from 2022. But it still performed, just not one that I would repurchase. Okay, I did Sassy Girl Aroma Wash Up. This is from her, um, when Julie did the laundry sampler. Her laundry sampler was so good. This is Laundry Lovers Blend of Amazingly Fresh Air Soft Florals, Fruits, Sandalwood, Citrus, and Vanilla. Doing this in my bathroom today, it's still going. It's a beautiful, airy laundry scent. Not too much just the right amount and it has my bathroom smelling really good flat shows i did this one i do not remember that one poolside laundry from southbound this was a great one um fresh fruits floral blossoms warm air and island fresh laundry and strawberry debonair this is from swanky i do have a swanky haul now i don't know how this video is gonna go but my 
empties may go up before the swanky haul it just depends but know that i do i did enjoy this one though the last thing before we move on to the bags i mixed these two okay so i had to put them together this day was so good y'all so we have birdies making sense cake makes everything butter red velvet cake cream cheese frosting cupcakes at tiffany's this was poured 2624 so if you remember my um in my august melting basket this was shaped like a red velvet cake like the actual cake i blended it with apple pecan pancakes from keegan Candle. These two together literally had my home smelling like um, red velvet cake. Like I just baked a red velvet cake and crush. You know how some people like their red velvet cake with pecans and some don't. This smelled like I baked a red velvet cake and crushed a whole bunch of pecans on top. This was so, so good. I mean, unbelievable. So authentic. I had to... Um, Put them together so i can remember how i did it i don't really care for chocolate and wax this this cake scent wasn't chocolate forward but it did still have like an undertone of it it was beautiful beautiful and i would definitely repurchase both of those again okay moving on to the bags and i feel like i'm moving slow but i'm gonna move a little faster okay I got through a lot of Rose Girls, of course. It's one of my favorite vendors. Let's talk about it. Mario Party, I finished this one. Um, mainly because the bag was um, ripped. And plus, I pulled it for my August basket. Confetti cake, strawberry pound cake, fruit loops, and sugar cookies. This was nice. It was nice. It wasn't the most strongest fruit loop scent that I've tried. But I could smell it. And I could smell touches of the strawberry pound cake um scandalous mango sorbet brazilian crush cheriosa 68 i did finish this one this is from um april 2024 this was a beautiful sol de janeiro type of scent all right we're gonna i'm gonna leave this one to the end of my rose girls one pink tangerine dreams this was really nice um pink sugar tangerine gelato marshmallow buttercream frosting I got mostly the pink sugar and the tangerine. It was like a very um, uplifting citrus type of scent with a little bit of like that pink sugar marshmallow. It was really good. Slippery Slope. I didn't get great performance from this one. It's Florida Key Lime Pie, Serendipity Toasted Coconut and Funfetti Cake. I also didn't care for the toasted coconut notes. I just, no, I wasn't vibing with it. It was a beautiful scent it just wasn't a scent for me um plus it was on the lighter side so i would not repurchase that one alexa do the laundry i ended up finding this one in a basket it's sea salt fluffy towels jasmine rose and h2o so this is definitely a very laundry heavy scent this smells like laundry detergent or like wet clothes that's been washed in the laundry detergent it's very um strong <laughs> it's very strong and i only had it in a um what was this like a chunk muffin it took me so long to finish this i used it in my bathrooms both bathrooms and it actually smells like you've done laundry that you have like the wet clothes but they smell so good the water you washed it on cold the water smells so clean and that detergent is either some some really nice gain or some Tide or in between. But it was very beautiful. I like that. Girl Next Door. This is one of my favorite scents from Rose Girls. It's Macintosh Apple Cucumber Salty Sea Air. Will always repurchase that scent. It's beautiful. This was a sample I did in Tis the Sea Sun. Sunflower Swimming Pools and Lilacs. This is a very strong floral scent. Yeah, it's, it's a little too much for me, but it's a great performer. If you like um, those swimming pool lilacs types of scent, you will like this. It's um, I did melt it in my bathroom. It lasted all day, and I had two cubes that I did in here one night. I have three warmers in this room. Not that I need to, but sometimes I do have to use all three for a scent. 
but this by itself performs so amazing in here all day all night so if you like those scent notes you will like that okay the last one from rose girls that i wanted to talk about last is kokomo cookies which is rainbow sherbet saltwater taffy vanilla ice cream royal sugar cookies and coconut macarons so the reason why i'm talking about this one last is today i melted the last of this um in my three warmers three of my warmers in my open concealer and it, only in three warmers this scent was very very strong i do love the kokomo cookies or any of the kokomo blends from rose girls so i was smelling this and i'm like this reminds me of something so i pulled out my island bakery from teddy b's y'all these that scent is like almost spot on i don't like to compare vendors but this is my channel and i just want to let you guys know kokomo cookies smells very very similar to one of my favorite scents ever which is island bakery and i think it's because of that that coconut macaron no i think the other blend has like a coconut creamy coconut milk scent this has that sugar cookie no and i think with the rainbow sherbet this rainbow sherbet might have like pineapple and strawberry or something they are so similar that i really could not tell them apart i ended up melting a little bit of island bakery in another room and blend it together you could not tell them apart so just wanted to share i know they are definitely not the same scent but they smell super similar and i love them both love them both and i would definitely repurchase um that scent speaking of teddy bees we have some souffles i finished kiss me good night which is cozy cashmere blankets warm slightly woodsy notes mixed with vanilla Hints of plum and hot tea and warm amber. It's a lot of notes. Support 10, 13, 23. So I finished this one. I'm not gonna lie. When when I went out of town for Atlanta, I left three warmers on and I put this in my warmers. I was gone for two days. And when I came back, you know how the way it's like burns out after it's been sitting for so long. That's what this was. But before I finished it off, I did like it. It was not a love. That's the reason I just put it in the warmers while I was gone away. Um, it's a pretty cashmere um plum tea scent. It's one I feel like you have to just smell it to try it and see. Um, I did like it, it just wasn't a favorite, but it performed really well. Another one that I did was Dream State. Dream State is sweet lavender, pink sugar, vanilla, marshmallow cream. This is probably one of the, the lavenders from Teddy Bees that didn't perform for me. This was super light, and this is almost a year old, so pour 10, 10, 23. It's a beautiful lavender scent. I get the, the lavender and like a creaminess. I don't get any pink sugar or anything like that, but on warm, it just in my home. It's my opinions. But in my home, it just felt a little short. First of her name, this scent is everything. I love this scent. I do have another souffle. This is whipped vanilla, citrus infused cream, white blossoms, decadent lemon cakes. Right, yeah. Candy lime and vanilla sugar. Another great one. This was beautiful. I love this scent and would repurchase. All right. Um, lavender and speckles, raspberry jam plus beach marshmallow cookies. This, I put that it was okay. I could smell it, but it wasn't super strong. This one, on the other hand, was. This is raspberry jam, prep slam powder donuts. This, I did in here. Um, it was three pieces in my warmers. I could smell it in the hallway. That's how good it was. Okay. Glitterati. I got sweet tooth, which is strawberry pound cake. Marshmallow fluff donut holes. This one was on the lighter side. Under the Stars from Glitterati, Mac Apple Beach Nights. This one was beautiful, a very strong Mac Apple, um, like s'more, salt to sea air from the Beach Nights. It was really good. Teddy Bees, I did Pink Berry, Tonka Bean, Pink Chiffon, Boardwalk, Mellow Clouds. This is a beautiful scent. I did it in my bedroom, and I think I did one of 
the bunts like in my kitchen one night just to like have something fun, you know girly i love these like perfume scents this was really pretty i would repurchase grape governor vanilla ice cream waffle cone grape soda grape cream sickles cream soda this one was really good to me it was just a typical grape soda scent i didn't get all the other notes the waffle cone or um cream soda i just got grape y'all know i love my grape scent so i wasn't mad at it all right happy birthday from super tarts i just finished this one um i picked this for my birthday month i got this last year in january it is fluffy buttercream icing sweet strawberry filling and white birthday cake this was a good scent i don't really care for sweet strawberry i like the other types of strawberries but um this one still performed like a medium i did the rest of it in my kitchen and it was nice i think i burned i think i had a candle burning with it too Amityville. Uh, this one is so good. I love this one. Lavender Strawberry Mac Apple. I don't know what to tell you. You, If you like lavender and you like strawberry and you can handle Mac Apple, I would say try it because Mac Apple is there. But to me, the other notes are there too. And it's just blended so well. It's one of my favorites to go to sleep to. I do have another donut, but I need to order so much more of this scent. I really do. And these are my one-offs, and we will be done. Okay, I had to stretch my legs. My legs are going to sleep. Southbound Strawberry Watermelon Cake. I finished this one. This is from April 2024, so it's fairly new. This is fresh strawberry and juicy watermelon blended with a sweet birthday cake. This watermelon is not candied. It's not, like, artificial. This smells like a fresh, like, fresh watermelon juice with strawberry it is so stinking good i love this scent i will always repurchase strawberry um watermelon cake don't want to be without it but this is all i had and i she offers this a lot well like once a year at least so next year if she offers it i'll stock up on it what a girl wants says the girl aroma this was beautiful pink sugar sweet lavender and peppermint i got mostly peppermint in this but it was a great bedroom scent Rainbow Melts Time to Make Donuts. This was a light to me. This is buttery, vanilla glaze, and sweet fried dough. I could smell it, but it was it was too light. Bill the Clown from that Smell Good Shop. This is Juicy Melons, Cotton Candy, Strawberry Taffy. This was like a medium performer. I did in my bedroom, and I did enjoy it. Um, Scoopable Wax Melts, Three Cakes. I love Three Cakes. I got this one last year in November. It's yellow cake birthday cake cupcakes at tiffany's it was really yummy i did um scoopable wet smells banana crumble twist i didn't know i had two that i finished from this vendor ripe bananas with the irresistible aroma of buttery golden crumble topping in my home this was the lights i can smell like touches of banana but it wasn't like super strong summer gala from sassy wet smells Watermelon lemonade, fresh peach strawberries, mango coconut milk. And so I finished this one. As you can see, her wax now is very, very soft. And I think she took a break from the summer because of how soft her wax is. So when she returns for the fall or the winter, I cannot wait to try some more of her wax. Um, her wax is super good now. I, I used to have performance issues, but not really anymore. In this one, I got the watermelon, the mango, coconut milk. It was beautiful. I did, oh, I forgot this. Uh, Nose Farm Scent, Waste Not Chunk. This was beautiful. I didn't even know what I was smelling. It was just like, what is that? It was like a mix of Palo Santo. And I got like coffee in the background, but bakery too. It was definitely unique. Don't know what I smelled, <laughs> but those are the three notes I got. The most out of this and it performed the last thing that we got here is from junkie wet smells and i've been jumping this one from basket to basket it's sweet treats which is milk and cookies marshmallow fireside cashmere sugar this was super light this was super light um i could smell it but i don't know and i do like junkie monkeys wet smells i love i do enjoy the vendors wet but I would not repurchase um, these smaller, I think they're like the little bars, but they're really thin. 
And these bags are really thin too. So, whew, we are done. We are done. I melted so much. I mean, even for the two days that I was gone this month, I still managed to melt a lot. Um, And I'm happy with what I got through. I do have my September melting basket that I need to film. I got a mixture of everything in there. I'm so ready to start melting fall, but I don't want to jump right into fall and get sick of it in a month. So I'm kind of transitioning. I got some summer stuff, a little bit of summer, and then we're going heavy blown to the bakery in the fall. So I cannot wait to share that video with you guys. And I hope you enjoy. I hope you guys stay safe and be blessed. Um, if you enjoyed this video, could you please click subscribe if you would like to. If you would like to see more from me, subscribe. Um, tap the bell. I try to post constantly, but you know, sometimes I end up going a couple of days without a video. But there will definitely be more for me in the future. Anyway, you guys take care and I will talk to you later. Bye.